Well, and you'd be provided with plenty of space to run around and call upon your problems, right? Hmm. I feel like I've had better offers than a place to run and a little bit of cash. Well, but what do you say, Kyle? Can we at the very least bury the old sigh? <laughs> I mean, it would be a lot funnier if he had actually stabbed one of us. That... <laughs> but since that didn't actually happen... <laughs> Uh, while he says that, his fingers kind of twiddle on the handle of uh, one of his sigh. Not not like a particularly, like, I'm about to draw it. Not aggressively, just, just very, like, relishing. Provoking. Yeah. He's, he's, he's having a good time over there, while I am most certainly not. Hmm. Um... I'm I'm gonna ask him like just very nonchalantly. It's like so was like was there anything else you had summoned me for, or was this about the gist of it? Truly, this was about the gist of it. Mm-hmm. Didn't want to catch up on old times, or how everyone thought I was dead. Well, I had hoped that I'd hoped that you would accept my offer. Mm-hmm. It's fine if you don't. I'm. Not terribly hurt. I understand that I betrayed you. I will escort you outside, and then you will leave my town. That simply, huh? We don't have to have yes. this whole bloodshed and everything going on now? We, we just going to let us walk? No, why would I ever have bloodshed? That was the old Yarno. I mean, I was just curious, because last time I turned my back to Yeldar... It didn't end so well for me. You have my promise, my word. We also had your word on the heist and how'd that work out? Well, for me, it worked out pretty spectacularly, I must say. (laughs) I grinned to myself, kind of like laughing at Uh, like that was actually funny, but like it's like just a light chuckle, like, (laughs) okay then. (laughs) And just... I just kind of nod and just kind of look at him without really saying anything for a few seconds. <clears throat> All right. Um, Figuring that you guys don't seem to have much else to say, he gives two claps, and then the bags go back over your heads. You are escorted back out. Okay. Mm. That could have ended much worse if I had not contained myself. <laughs> <laughs> much much worse oh we wouldn't have made it out that's that was no. that was that was sheer will that kept me from losing my shit <laughs> i don't I'm know really if you're, i don't know if you remembered all that pausing at the beginning of this conversation that was me like do i need to roll just to see how much i lose it i'm like no <laughs> because the dc would be stupidly high for me to try and not kill him I'm like, I'm not going to do that, because that's probably going to derail really freaking hard. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about derail, but it is entirely well, I, possible that you guys would I would die died. almost instantly. If I die, they're all going to die. <laughs> Just I statistically speaking. I'm pretty sure that yeah. if I engage, they're all going to they're gonna kill all of us at once. I, yeah. I, I feel like I could at least get out of there. <laughs> I have lightning powers. What? <laughs> yeah. I'm again? <laughs> I'm sorry. When? Excuse me, Thor? Right. <laughs> what? I'm basically Thor, by the way. <laughs> because of what spell? Thunderwave? Really? That's that's Thunder not wave. enough. Oh, got it. That's and not I'm, enough, I'm, though. And, and I'm... Kill that and, too. Dang, I should get a... Oh. You have, you have two, whoa, 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 wait. Because you could retrieve your hammer, can't you? Yeah, I can. Since you're an Eldritch. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you if you bond with it, yeah. I mean, he basically uh, is though, like <laughs> low key, like his, like he can't control lightning low that key, well. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he gets it. He gets it. But no, like I mean, like he doesn't have the we best do control of lightning, but he is essentially trickster. Thor. We do have an arcane trickster too. Yes, we do. Oh gosh. 
Um, I don't have Witching Bolt though, here. but I mean, if Torn yeah. got Witching Bolt somehow, like he would, he would essentially. Uh, I think Thor. Witching Bolt. I think Witching Bolt is. Uh, it's a wizard spell. Not a, is it a wizard spell? I believe so. Because oh, yeah. that's how I no, got I, it. I I can get it if I want. Oh, that's right. You you took witching hmm. bolt. No, no. I said I could. I oh, I um, did because bolt? I took yeah. background spells. Right. Let's see here. Um. But I mean, if if Torn eventually got it, like at a higher level or something, then he essentially could very yeah. well be Thor. Let's see, at third level, there's a lightning bolt, which is pretty busted, not going to lie. It's basically fireball, but it goes for 100 feet in a straight line. Mm. <gasps> Thoron, yeah. Uh, Let's see here. I, I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to fight somebody. Trust I me, you don't want to do. fight them. You do not want to fight them. We are we are I, going to graciously <laughs> take the bags on our heads, and we will be kindly walked out. <laughs> Because we are apparently civilized. Because I'm trying very hard to be civilized, and I will not let you ruin this. My question is: Is all of our gear still at our entryway? Yes. Once you guys make it out, um, you guys are kind of like they they take the bags off, and then there's there's still the red brands behind you, um, but they are. Uh, they're mostly they mostly look like they're kind of milling about slash guarding the main door i'm guessing all of our stuff's just kind of on the ground in a pile where we left it yep um can i do a check to make sure that all my stuff is still there because it's all there okay because i don't trust him for some strange reason <sighs> oh i couldn't imagine why i i don't know it's not like everyone died or almost died or <laughs> Yeah. No one actually no one actually died, but still. I mean, then again, I don't I don't know what happened to my best friend, so who who knows. Right. So, um yeah. There so you guys are able to collect your stuff and then uh you guys can keep moving on. Sweet. Let's uh let's get out of here. Let's you guys oh, okay. Um, Ellie, do you have anything to say about this? I totally wasn't listening last year. Oh. Basically, the whole uh, being in the middle of Kirsty, the Kirstie, just because we do it doesn't mean we admit to it. <laughs> sure, well, I, I didn't know this was way out of I'm the kidding, Dingo, I'm kidding. Wait, so, what is so, you so, what? The loose. And you were just in the middle of the reds. And they have easily, what, eight times as many people as you do? Oh, about. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, basically my backstory has a real solid grudge against this guy. And he's, like, trying to hire me for the yeah, cult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we I declined, and he actually let us leave. So we're, we're outside now gathering our things, and we're walking off. Yeah. It is about noon. Um, as soon as we're like, I don't know, like a hundred and feet away, 150 feet away or so, I like punch a tree and like, as I do it, I inadvertently like minor illusion and I inadvertently, yes, just out of sheer rage. Like when oh, okay. I impact the tree, it's the sound of lightning bolt at <laughs> like at the actual decibel that it's at in the spell book. And it's, it's very loud for those of you that don't know. And I, I just kind of rage as I punch the tree and I'm just yelling profanities. But I, I only punched the tree once and inadvertently did that, but I'm just kind of cursing after the fact and I'm just kind of like pacing back and forth. Torrin's going to walk up to him like, oh, hey, uh, are, are you still up to go to that blacksmith for me to pick light? I just look at him with fire in my eyes and I just, I just, look, I don't even say anything because I'm just, so contempt. I'm just looking at him like, are you serious right now? <laughs> I like spin on my heel and brave. <laughs> I I just kind of I just don't say anything and I just continue walking. I I just kind of stew for a while. I don't I don't really say anything. But I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. I'm fine. He's fine. <laughs> 
But will anybody get tore in his sight? We may never know. <laughs> Next time on Side Quests. <laughs> I don't know where you guys are heading, so. I I guess I'm just going to kind of vaguely, like, head towards the lion shield. Okay. It's noon now, so, I mean. Anybody else? Nothing? Uh, I'll follow along with him. Make sure he's doing all right. Because I know that feel. <sighs> that feel, bro. Ah, oh, shit. So... <laughs> That wasn't very successful. We, we, shouldn't we try to kind of sneak in there? And, well, I guess are we wanting to kill the Red Brands? Kick them out? Get them to not be, what they always kind of? Yeah, they kind of. Yeah, like. I just kind of, like, without even turning over my shoulder, I just kind of, not, not offhandedly, but just very matter-of-factly, like, say, um, like the sh basically along the lines of like the sheer numbers, we wouldn't have had a chance, and Yeldar alone is not a force to reckon with. Okay, so so we're just trying to get kind of a, kind of see what exactly we're dealing with. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so, uh, since well, I don't really you... know anything, uh. I walk over to Kyle and I ask, hey, dude, what was that about? Um, I'm trying to think of like a very, very brief version of the story. Like, stupidly brief. Um, I, I give Big you a... heist, betrayal. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, I, give him, I give him a little bit more, like not... As brief as I'm going to say, but yeah, I basically say the long lines of heist gone wrong, uh, got betrayed real good, and I don't know what happened to anyone else. I, mm -hmm. what I brought, uh, there, I was in the prison for two weeks, uh, was getting transferred to God knows where, and broke free and ran off in the middle of transport. Uh, got cornered on a bridge and jumped 150 feet into a river, waking up the next day with a twisted ankle. Hmm. Yeah, like I, I like just dove 150 feet off the bridge and blacked out on impact. Did, did you die? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask that, but... <laughs> I knew he was going to say that, too. It's like, he's, he's going to say it. I know he is. Yeah. But I just very like long story short, like he betrayed us really hard. He he set okay. the whole thing up. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sorry, man. Can't yeah. imagine what you're going through. Oh, it's old I, news. I know, but that doesn't yeah, mean I don't I want to be feel, brutally killed. But, yeah. Yeah, that's a good that, that okay. That. Um Yeah, so you guys you guys are um are Torin and Ellie following along with uh with Kyle and Brave. Yeah, and I'm kinda of just like filling Ellie on in on what we've been doing, like <laughs> And, of course you don't. and then we walked into this cave with a, like 20 wolves just chilling out. And uh, I took them out three. barehanded. <laughs> it was three, and no, you didn't. Although, you're not listening to oh, this. Shut up. <laughs> I can hear you. You're not that far behind. Um, although, I, like I do still need to cure that limb. He, he, he's kind of a jerk. <laughs> So, I do need to tr I do need to cure that limb though. So maybe I'll ask uh Lenine if she knows anything about supplies I can get for it. Yeah. Um so you guys arrive at the line and um you are able to like she she welcomes you in and she uh 
She goes, oh, you went into their hideout. Oh, there are very few that ever go in and come back out alive. Um, she seems very impressed. And, um, yeah, there it is. That's the one. I didn't know it was that. Uh, <laughs> You're cutting out. And now. what's that? I am. Yeah. But yeah, oh, I was a little bit. That, that could just be me. Who knows? Do, 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 do. Um, okay. Yeah. I, I was looking in the book to see if there was anything else that Lenny knew or anything that might be helpful. Um, yeah. So you guys are in there. Um, she, she actually offers to, uh, make you got or to help you to cure the, the wolf. Is it, is it a limb? It was a I, limb because the, like the, the stump would go bad, but that would leave, like, it's, it's just the paw. Got it. Okay. Like the limb is yeah, there, yeah. but that's going to get cut off when it's cured. Okay. Yeah. So she, she'll actually help you with, uh, curing that. Um, she's, she's got a little bit of experience with, with those kinds of things. And so while, while you guys are kind of waiting around and she's helping you out and, um, she'll actually provide you with the, the materials needed for free. Um, because, one, you're friends, two, you're against the red brands, three, she's way impressed that you made it in and out of the hideout alive. Um, and on top of that, she sees and knows Ellie, um, and knows that Ellie is pretty staunchly against the red brands, although mm -hmm. she is not quite aware of the blue guard. Um, that that has been a pretty like low key, low down group, and not everybody in the town is aware of them, their existence even. I I personally think like the Blue Guard should start making super cheesy commercials for their uh, group. Like <laughs> join the rebellion, the Red Guard, the 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 Red Brand, and do you love blue? Well, I have good news for you. <laughs> The blue guard wants you. <laughs> Sign up today. Sign up today yeah. for a brighter tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, oh man. So she she's making some small talk with you guys. She asks everybody where they're from. So, Torin, where are you from? Uh, the Dorvan homeland. <laughs> Fair enough. Obviously. I'm not familiar enough. She says I'm not familiar enough with the with the mountain ranges to really, you know, to to appreciate the mountain. Even if you told me which one it was in particular, um, you know, it's kind of like it's me telling. Cool. It's kind of me telling people that I'm from you, from Eugene. I'm from outside of it. So, yeah. um, <laughs> I'm from Grass region. Yeah. So. Um, and Kyle, where are you from? I'm from sh uh, shit. <laughs> uh, Bez mm. Boziat. Boziat, thank you. Uh, the outskirts of Boziat. Ah, uh, rough place to grow up, especially at your age. I'm uh, 25, but <laughs> right, right, because you you grew up while okay. the war was still raging. Okay, that's what she meant. Okay, just checking. It's like grew up then, at your age. It's like I'm I'm kind of adult, but <laughs> right. Uh, and and brave. Where are you from? Beckton. Oh, Beckton. That's a town I haven't heard the name of in a little while. <laughs> not <Kinda>. since, not <laughs> since the destruction. Um, I actually, relatively recently, some rumors passed through here of some survivors from Beckton. Uh, they're, they're holed up in, uh, in Whistlerith right now, actually. 
Whistlery? Whistlery? Whistlery. Uh, that was the first town yeah. we were in. And, I, well, the first major town. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Or I say, I respond to her, oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I yeah. I don't know how much truth there really was. Um, I, I also came from Becton, but... When, as the Lion Shield coster grew, I I was posted out here, and I haven't been home since, so I didn't figure that they would be people that I knew necessarily. So, but I, I heard that they are holed up in Whistlerith right now, um, fugitives from that Becton slaughter. Hmm. That. Did, did any of the rumors uh, say who they were? Or if there were no, women, no names, or, no names. One woman and a child, no names. It it seemed like maybe a small group of them. I I couldn't tell you for sure. The rumors, you know, rumors are rumors. They the details change every time they're told. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, thanks for letting me know. I'll have to make my way back there to look. Of Did course. Yeah. Uh, so we'll say that the hour or so goes by and um, the work on the paw is finished um, it's now about 2 in the afternoon oh that didn't take nearly as long as I thought I, no, I, I think it was like 8 <laughs> I, didn't, I don't think it takes that long to well I, I just kind of figured we spent the day there at that point <laughs> Just talking about no. stuff. Yeah, all right. My bad. <laughs> Idle chit-chat. You know, where are you from? It doesn't... Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to ask her real quick if she's interested in buying some of those armors she sold me because I actually happened across a handful of them. Hmm. I don't know that I could give you much gold. Um... What would you willing... To be offered a piece. I could offer maybe ten gold piece. Do you do you remember how much I bought it for by chance? I think I gave you like half off on the forty five cost. I think twenty twenty two gold. Um, that's that sounds about right. Um, what was what was your current price? Ten. Um, I her, her buying price would be ten. Okay. Um, nor I would normally try and haggle, but considering all the help that she's been today, I'm not, I'm just gonna accept that. Um, I said I'll cool. I'll take that, and I'm going to sell her. Uh, everyone's wearing a studded leather armor, right? Like Ellie got one. Now everyone yeah. has one, right? Okay. I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I am going to sell her excuse me. Uh three sets. Cool. You can add thirty gold to your inventory. Yay. Um Yeah. Oh, you know what? I apparently one of those is the one I'm wearing. Oh. So So <laughs> twenty two <gold>. sets, twenty <laughs> gold. <laughs> twenty gold. <laughs> Kinda not gonna sell you the shirt off my back, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh that's fixed. Yeah. Hey, I still have three apples. <laughs> hey, me too. <laughs> hey. Mm, yummy. <laughs> okay. And so... for some reason I still have like four Four what? Four mugs of hot chocolate. I mean, at this point, it's probably, like, lukewarm hot chocolate. Like, you didn't drink them, or, like, you just have the mugs? Like, I just haven't them. I just haven't had them yet. They're just, like, sitting there. Um, I don't know how you've managed to keep them upright and not spilling in all of this <laughs> He's time. He's the doctor. How else? I am super talented. He's the doctor. <laughs> I'll let you have it. That's fine. Um, <laughs> I'll drink him soon. I they're in it, they're all in its flask it's all in one container <laughs> oh okay solved. it's a really big flask solved i have a thermos <laughs> i don't i don't know if it's crashman's ship into my beard. <laughs> oh. 
Did he say he's been storing it in his beard? Yeah, I like have this her- thermos with a little handle. Oh. I tie that handle <laughs> in my I beard. thought you meant you were straight up storing the liquid in your beard. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I'm thirsty, I just take a nice old suck on my beard. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I'm thirsty. Whenever somebody wants a drink, I just like strain it out. <laughs> just <bring> it out. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna scare Kirsty off, Ken, with your horn story. Oh, hi, little boy. Would you like a drink? It's mighty tasty. <laughs> I don't. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> All right, <laughs> moving on. Um, so you guys are you know, are outside the Lion Shield Coster. What are we doing? Um. What time is it? Uh, about two. Sweet. Does somebody want to go pick up a uh, site for me? Um, I'm putting it on. I would here. offer, but if, as far as persuading, I have a negative one, so Brave might have a better chance. Yeah, I'll go see if I can get it. Wait. Just tell him you're using it for farming equipment, and you should probably be fine. Yeah, I'll let him know. Um, yeah, just you're just buying the scythe. Remember, that's that's it. Yeah, just the scythe. And I'll pay back. Or a sickle, yeah. Sickle of scythe. Where did you get him? Yeah, I, I tried buying it the other day and sell it to me because I'm getting it for war or battle or violence and all that fun stuff. And you know, mm-hmm. it's only farming equipment. So the guy is very like super pacifist and doesn't doesn't care for it. So the second he's he like, mentioned that, he's like, mm, yeah, no. <laughs> Aggressively passive. Like, he he's like, he's passive aggressive. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> no, he's aggressively passive. He's passively <laughs> aggressive, aggressively yeah. passive. He's passively aggressively passive. Yeah. <laughs> Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Brian? I can't answer that during a recording. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, that really cool kid that smelled like the other <laughs> <laughs> the guy with like five cans of Axe a morning. Uh, oh, wait, was it? I don't know who that is. We're, we're recording. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I mean, I'm probably gonna crop it out, but who knows? Let's maybe, not. Maybe we're I won't. This? <laughs> we're recording this. Pressing wow. on. Guys, we've always been recording this. Really? Okay. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> I like just said it too. <laughs> anyway, All right. so so Brave is gonna go try to um the uh, the what the blacksmith. Oh, okay. You were cutting out. Sorry. I'm no, gonna... you were cutting out. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. No, you're cutting out. <laughs> no, Your you're mom gave that. <laughs> Let's see here. Do, 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 do. That's right. There's not really. Uh, of... Bonus points for whoever remember, remembers the farmer's name. Oh, there was no name. I didn't give a name. Yeah, we didn't give him a name. I know. Nope. <laughs> it's Frederick. Right. It's Frederick now. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, so you, you walk into the blacksmith shop. Yep. Uh, hey there, good sir, can I buy a (laughs) farmer's sickle? (laughs) Trying too hard already. (laughs) You know what? Roll me for persuasion. (laughs) Just for selling him something. <laughs> I'd like to buy a farmer's sickle because I am a. <laughs> <laughs> I am a farmer. I do farmings. <laughs> I do the farm things. Okay. What did you roll? I like to do farm. You, you. What did you roll? Nineteen. Cool. He's yeah. He's like. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, y- you one of the new farm hands around here? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yep. Uh, all right. So he'll sell it to you for ten silver or one gold piece. 
All right, sounds like a deal. I you could probably really haggle me how like, robotic <laughs> that was. <laughs> Hello, okay, yeah. I am here to buy a farmer's sickle. <laughs> I keep thinking of the episode of Rick and Morty where everything's a simulation. <laughs> That's Hungry awesome. for apples? So. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 All right. Then I uh, walk out of the place and walk over to the Torrin, and I'm like, here's your sickle. Torrin's like, my <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> my half elf. As he's walking backwards and his spine's dislocated. <laughs> um, all right. Tugboat. Will yeah. you let me roll something to be able to uh, do a little bit of my own on uh, this? <laughs> do a little bit of your own what? Like, be able to take the sickle and put it onto my axe. I would imagine you'd describe, have to build it. Wouldn't describe you? to me your process. What are you thinking? Literally flip the axe over uh, and either cut a notch in it or... Um, Find some way to drill a hole and uh, fasten it down with uh, hammers and a nail, basically. <laughs> hammers and a nail. <laughs> okay. I mean, I was expecting. So, are you talking? <laughs> are you talking about like your? So, I. What are you picturing for your axe? Is your axe presently got like a one-bladed head on it? Uh, it's double-bladed. Okay. So you're talking about, like, the butt end of the act. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> just for fun, I'll send it again. Okay. <laughs> How do you attach the two? I slam the handles together really, really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Roll, Natty 20. <laughs> I, d I don't... <laughs> I don't even know how to flavor text this, guys. <laughs> um... Kind of looks like a J. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, were you sending him the pictures you drew the other night? Yep, there it yeah. is. So, do you have a <laughs> hand drill or some other way to make a notch or hole? Um, I, I have. Uh, <laughs> uh so let's see here. I gotta figure out what it would be considered in a 5e Smith tools. Yeah, that that'll do. Um, that'll do. Uh, let's see here. There it is. More than one Smith tools items. <clears throat> so uh, it doesn't tell me anything. Yeah. Um. So, so I would, I would assume that by Smith's tools, like I'm thinking like a blacksmith, so yeah. like tongs, um, gloves, maybe like a really, really small anvil type thing. Probably not like a, a regular anvil. Maybe like a work stand. Yeah. Uh, like a like a collapsing work stand. Mm -hmm. And like a forging hammer at most maybe with that bellows um but like to work with metal you wouldn't use a hand you wouldn't use a I nail mean... uh, uh, to say the least you, you need the tools for the job is the I, I do have the tools could uh will you let me roll for it just for uh seeing if i do have what i need because I mean, having a drill does make sense personally to me. Uh, from <clears throat> minor experience, yeah, I have had to put holes in metal to put them on handles and such. But a hand drill, I in this era, <laughs> that or a punch, heat it up and punch a hole in it. Yeah. And I feel like that. I mean, if you found like a metal have... rod or something, okay. you have light so, hammers so, you can use. Um, this is this is kind of a this is a side website, but this is kind of um, what I'm 
what I this is basically the same thing that I was thinking of. So, uh, example items: hammer, tongs, bellows, punches, chisel. Okay. Um, yeah, punches. That's how you make holes. In wood. Uh, you can do it. No, in that's for the metal. You can just drive a nail through wood. Well, right. Oh, or a ribbit okay. or something. You're thinking of a different type of punch. A wood punch is like a small little tip that you're used just to make a small dent to actually set the nail. Whereas for metal, it's actually something that punches straight through. Yeah. Okay. Um. <clears throat> fuck it. Go for it. Roll. All right. Um. Okay, I I know what what my difficulty is for it. Is it better than 19? Oh. Shit. <laughs> wow. Yeah, said... go for it. Sweet. Okay, so so right now, I will let you know that... what. So I, I was looking at unwieldy weapons idea rules, because there's not really anything in the rulebook about unwieldy weapons. Um, so if... So when, when you make an attack... You will now be attacking at disadvantage with your great axe. Ooh. Um, if you if you decide to go through with this, and if both attacks miss, you will instead hurt yourself. So, so he has disadvantage thing. on every attack with that weapon now. On every attack with that weapon, if you decide to go through. Oh, because, well, that's that's because, garbage. I'm not going because, to do that. Because that weapon would be completely unreasonable to use. Like, I, I I see where you're going with it, but, like, at the same time, if you swung it straight down, like, like two hands over your head bringing it down, that sickle is going right in your face. That's true. Yeah. Okay. If you swing it sideways, that's going into your ribs. So, like, it... It would be extremely difficult to use. And, and like this I was isn't... saying earlier, it's it's just not only is it really unwieldy, but it it's going to be extremely one sided weight wise. Like yeah. if you want to swing the sickle, you're going to have to grab it like right at the base of the axe head. Right. And and this isn't me just like wanting to be a dick to you or anything. I'm just like looking at the weapon, and while I do think it is a neat concept and i i don't hate the concept i'm just like i'm looking at the the realistic and i know that D is all fantasy but i'm looking at the realistic implications of having a sickle on the base of your axe handle um yeah and, and how that would affect you on top of that um a sickle only does 1d4 slashing damage and um, so like i don't like i i, I Plus, it, you don't get to attack with both heads of the weapon as one attack. So you'd have to be like, well, I'm going to spin my axe around and hit with the sickle head for literally a maximum of a third of the damage. Um, so, yeah. like, if it was something that, like, uh, it has two blades that are both in the same direction, one's right behind it. And, and so I get, like, I hit with both blades in one swing, which... I can't really picture a weapon that does that. That's really weird in my head. Um, but yeah, if somehow you were to find a weapon... Maybe, but probably not. Uh, so, but like, in theory, like, in that case, I would say, yeah, make an attack roll with both heads. And then you do damage with both heads. But that would be like, if you were trying to hit with both heads, you would have to like... There would be some wild spinning happening. Um, and, and it, it wouldn't be reasonable to have that be one action. So, like, I, I hope that I don't sound like I'm being a dick, but, um, no, realistically, if, that's... If it was a different weapon, I could see it. Like, if you had, like, if that was on the other end of a spear, like, a spear or something, like, you could have a pokey yeah. end versus a, you know, a sickle end. Like, I could, I could see that, yeah. but for something like a hammer that's, like, just straight still... up... Like a the hammer spear would just... still do more damage. Yeah, 
But I'm saying like something like of like a pole arm or like some form of staff based weapon. I can right. see that making sense. But for something that's just straight up you swing and hit like a club style, right. it's just yeah. Because I mean, it's, that's, it's two different that's types of stances for the two weapons hammer. alone. Right. It's an axe. It's not a hammer. But yeah. But well, still, it's, yeah, it's no, no, no. the same method of use, though, is my point. Yeah. You know, you swing an axe, but with like a rapier or something, you would, well, the rapier may not be a perfect example, but, right. you know, a, a spear, you're going to lunge. You know, you're, it's very much staff based, whereas the other ones, you're swinging it really fucking hard. And maybe yeah. hit it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so that's that's gonna be where that's at. Um, still want to mount a sickle on your axe? You can go for it. it but uh, how dare you guys make logic out of it? No. <laughs> make logic out of it? I'm gonna go ahead and keep my great axe great. Cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> Make axes great again. <laughs> I I le legitimately I spent a bunch of time figuring out how I could make this work for you, um, in in like a way that makes sense, and I I literally could not find a way to make it like safe to use without giving you some huge disadvantage. So I'll just like put a spear on the head of it or something. So I can slash and poke. Even so, I mean, you know, that goes back to the like the way it's weighted uh, and the way you hold it. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Honestly, it, you'd be better off like maybe attaching it to something else or. I, you can you throw a sickle? Uh, you probably. I mean, maybe I. Fashion it into a boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, make I, it very yeah, uh, Avatar. Um, what, what's his name? Oh, Sokka? Sokka, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I owe Brave <laughs> one gold piece. Colton. <laughs> 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 yeah, pretty much. Um, and now I have a sickle. Sweet. Yeah. He's going to go uh, start cutting down barley for liquor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um... So what do you guys want to do now? It's like... What time is it? 2.30. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, that's pretty much the only business I have. I, I guess... I mean, by now, I'm, I'm pretty much cooled off. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm going to go wander around town. Unless someone has anything <laughs> more interesting. <clears throat> I'm going to go around and see if there's anybody that really looks like they need some help. I'm going to go look okay. for work. Okay. How <laughs> lawful good of me. Where did I put my book? Well, you're not working for free, <laughs> <are> you, but... <laughs> well, I, I guess that's more generosity than lawful good. See, I'm going to see if any little old ladies need crossing the street or if any toddlers need a lollipop. Because I'm the best. Yeah, so, so I, I don't know if anybody else is thinking, but we were threatened to uh, leave town or by that asshole to uh, leave town. So uh, I don't yeah, know what we, we probably want to should do. Do we want to try to? Too long. Oh, do we want to leave, or do we want to try to? Hey, Kirsty, launch an assault. High or low? Oh no. Uh oh. High or low? It's your choice. Low. Low? Okay. So, low, if I roll low, things will happen. If I don't roll low, then, I mean, th other things will happen, but they won't be the things that I'm thinking of. <laughs> that was an 11, so never mind. Um, we are not on. going to get attacked in the middle of the night. Congrats. Uh, I mean, it was going to be middle that's, of the day. That's all hearsay. <laughs> Well, he's got to give us time whatever. to leave town. It's been a half hour. That's what you think. Did you already forget who it is you're talking? I didn't, but that's not my point. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, roll me perception, all of you. Fuck. 
I don't like it, guys. A twenty. Right. Twenty-two. Seven. Oh. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to fill in Brave on whatever's going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brave's just blind, like, oh, I've. Uh, did did I, I hear stabbing noises? I thought I heard stabbing noises. <laughs> <laughs> as he says, okay. as he's been impaled on a spear. <laughs> what so, was that? <laughs> rolling above a 12 will reveal. Um, well, you, you kind of glance around and you notice that there are several red cloaks that are kind of beginning to gather around. They don't seem to be... <laughs> they're not, like, aggressive. They're just... They're there. They're wanting what? to make sure that you are on your way. You didn't roll a natural 20, so no. Are we... We're still on the shield, right? Uh, <laughs> I figured, I thought you guys were outside. I didn't know if we had left yet. Have, have we I thought, yet? Guys, I thought you guys were outside. Okay. Yeah. Mine, mine was contingent on if anyone had anything else to do, and then I don't know if we came up with something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we're gone. Um. Mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna casually mention it's like guys we should really leave town. I'm I'm gonna casually agree with him. <laughs> just yeah. oh so casually and <laughs> brave's gonna be like what why <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> even <laughs> with the knowledge of today's <laughs> events he's not he doesn't know why <laughs> yeah um, Brave's just having problems with his memory today man i'm gonna <laughs> ask Ari if there was like any other towns we needed to visit or somewhere else we should be heading off to soon <laughs> mm, not not in particular um i'm sure that ilverd would like us to report back eventually but it will take some time to prepare for going back to the crypt what's also the nearest with, town with the, the nearest town to us would be whistler mm. Ooh, i hear there's half of us yeah um, I say yes. For survivors from but back. seeing, seeing as how Black Rose seems to be involved here as well, it may be important. <sighs> Ari, I don't think you understand the uh, the seriousness of this situation. With all due respect. I, I don't know if you see how many people I see in our proximity. And I just kind of like dart my eyes like there's like kind of like there's one over there. There's one over there. There's one over there. But like not actually like nodding or anything. Just kind of like looking this way and that. Ari, Ari rolled a 21 for perception. So, okay. so he, he know well, even so, I, I still kind of gesture and say, like, are you yeah. sure about this? Buddy. <laughs> yes, but they don't seem to be aggressive yet. Yet is kind of a key word, don't you uh, think? Hey, Colton. Yes, sir. High or low? Uh, let's go with low again. Okay. So low will be Jen's ability to contain herself, seeing all of these red cloaks. Whoa. Oh, PC's gonna lose her shit. <laughs> that was a two. Oh. So. <sighs> oh, wait, he said low. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> Scared me. Scared me really hard. <laughs> Sorry. When I, when I said ability, the word that I had in mind was inability. So. Uh, so, so lack thereof. How are we gonna lawyer this out? <laughs> <laughs> she whips out a bow and pulls a shot at the nearest red brand. Oh, that's how I we're going to handle this. Okay. Grab her. Okay. She misses. <laughs> oh, come on. I just kind of wide-eyed looked at her like, what have you done? Um, so you see seven red brand 
things surrounding you. They're coming in on all sides. Okay, there's there's seven of them. We killed nine with two less people. We we can handle this, right? Even though only one okay. of us died. So, yeah. Hold on. Let's do I... it. Or... <laughs> Guys, which ta which button do we hit? Do we hit the fight or do we hit the flea button? Tessa, we have Let's seven see. of us here, and there are seven of them. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. One. So, <laughs> Torin just standing there. Oh, no. Girl, idiot, pull back and shoot. He tries stopping her, but after, like, kind of nudging her and making her miss just a little bit, he uh, <laughs> sees the seven up, and uh, he's going to just summon his great axe straight to his hand. Oh, that's and right, because you can do that now. Because <laughs> he can bit do more that. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Can, can Torin roll for intimidation just off of that, though? Just summoning a just weapon like, into his hand? <laughs> big sigh, kind of roll my neck, and like hold my hand out, and then poof, it's just there. <laughs> <laughs> just vroom. <laughs> And can I please roll intimidation? <laughs> I I really hope he gets a good intimidation, at least on like one or two of them. Okay, yeah. roll for intimidation. <laughs> Four. I I was expecting a natty twenty based on that reaction, uh, and I am wholly disappointed in you. I am so freaking disappointed in myself too. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, like three of them do six. it then <laughs> three of them do it as well <laughs> like that's a cool <laughs> trick <laughs> and then they do it <laughs> oh that'd be really funny actually um hold on i'm rolling for health at the moment uh five Oh, I figured hey. out the syntax for using it in Discord if you guys didn't see yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, give me just a sec. Um, <laughs> there's a couple of there's a couple of thick boys out here. It feels like run of the mill, like that this is just what they're equipped with. Partly because they are. All right, I need you guys to roll for initiative. Natty twenty. <laughs> Ooh, wasted it. Uh, what do I add to that? Oh, okay, so twenty-four. Oh, okay. Which actually puts you. Here. Okay, 25 to 20. Hi, 24. Okay, um, 19 to 15. Yo, I rolled 18. Okay. He has 19. Oh, I have 19, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, and then. It's pretty rude. All right. What it can get? Kyle. So there are seven. They are encircling you. They are all equidistant from. Uh, there is red brand one. Red. They are all nicely marked on their cloaks. Uh, uh, marked as red brand. You cut out for a second. I know why he cut They're out. They're marked as one through seven. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> that makes this easier. Yeah. No, it's okay. Because I was, when you were rolling for the, uh, not initiative, well, yeah, like the health and stuff, I was thinking of the joke I made last week, how, like, what, I feel like when you're doing this, like, all the characters are there just kind of making idle chit chat. <laughs> <Just telling me. laughs> seven, seven and four, like, talking about their kids, and, like, three is just making jokes about two, and... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Torn and Brave are talking about like if they wanted to go grab a drink after we're, we're done. <laughs> after we're done with work. Well, that's that's if Brave is still alive. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, even if he dies, you know, he just walks off to the side, you know. Uh, all right. <laughs> he you just lays prone for the rest of the scene. 